Hey, what's up, you guys? I'm Robert Arrington. This is Deer Meat for Dinner. We're in Louisiana with Captain Richard, first mate Luke. We are catching giants. Oh, Sarah. We got a nice yellowfin on behind the shrimp boat. It's a little early right now for yellowfin behind the shrimp boats, but we'll take it. Right? Yep. So, you guys, that is why people come to Venice, Louisiana. Giant fish. Yesterday, we were catching the biggest redfish I've ever seen. Now, Sarah's hooked into the biggest tuna fish she's ever seen. This place is literally a fishing playground. There you go. A little short pumps. Use the boat. Waves, there you go, perfect. She's doing a great job. She can't tap out though. <laughs> Sarah, is this the hardest fighting fish you've ever fought? Absolutely. <laughs> when you came to Louisiana, what were you wanting to do? Big reds and big tuna. Well, you checked one of them off the list and you've got your pen in your hand for the second. We are on the Shockwave and arguably the most famous charter fishing fleet in the world right now is the Mexican Gulf Fishing Cartel. They've got all these big Freemans, the 37, 42 Freemans. When you walk down on the dock, it is one of the most impressive sights you're ever gonna see. I mean, they are rigged flat out to the hill. I actually brought all my Talica 25s, and after seeing the boat, I was like, I'm leaving all my junk at the house. And uh, first thing you do is run out through this beautiful marsh, pull up to the oil rigs and start catching bait. We caught probably 400 little horn bellies, which is funny because I've never caught a fish on a horn belly in my life, but these tuna fish just sucked them up. Pulled up to the first shrimp boat, started pitching out some chum. Didn't take but about two minutes and we're tight. Problem is, we've been tight for about an hour now. So, Sarah's doing a great job. Won't be long, we're gonna have sashimi flopping on the deck. Got me excited, Robert. Classic yellowfin tuna right here, straight up and down. You can watch the tip of the rod, that thump, 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 thump. That's that big tail, boom, boom, boom. I'm telling you, this fish is gonna be 120 to 150 pounds. All right, so we're marking more fish on the bottom machine right now. Luke's getting a second backup bait ready. As Soon as we get this fish up to the side of the boat, gaff it, we'll put more baits in the water because typically those other tunas are gonna follow this big one up to the boat. I thought I seen the lead. Both putting up a fight, I don't know who's gonna win. You think you got him now, sister? <laughs> <laughs> Tension is high, y'all. No one's saying a word. They're putting as much pressure on this fish as they possibly can. Really nice fish, dude. Been a tough fight. I think Sarah's going to get him. There's the fish there. That fish could be over 150. back here, he's wanting to stay back towards those motors. Oh. Okay. No, you're good. Yeah, you're good, Luke, you're good, Luke, you're good, Luke, you're good. Here, take that, take that ball off. Take that ball off right there. This is right here. This is right here. We're good. Uh, louder and louder, you can do it. 
Watch your shot. Watch your shot. Damn water too. Is it? Uh, it's not heavy? Okay, we, we're gonna get him. This is gonna be our turn. Come here, buddy. This is gonna be our turn right here. This is it. This is it. Get him. Got him. Got him. Yes! 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 Perfect shot, Gap. Yes! Perfect shot. Woo! One, two, three. Hey, you said you wanted a big yellow tuna, right? We got one. <laughs> you better really like someone if you share your tuna with them. <laughs> yeah. So are you saying it's hard earned? Yeah. Yes, it's, it's very. <laughs> so that is the way you make a day. I don't know how we're gonna cook him, or if he's even gonna get cooked, but I guarantee you he's gonna get eaten. Thank you, Lord. on a big charter boat like this go out and have a day like this always remember to tip your captain and mate they work stinking really hard really long hours and they put a lot of work in to make something like this happen so Job I just best. want to tell you thank you very much not man. a problem thank you John boy yeah Oh yeah. All right, you guys, so this is the biggest fish I will have ever cleaned with my bone and play. So let's get started. Yellowfin tuna gall. Look at 
after that. Eight inch, silver stag, bone and filet. That is the best filet knife ever made. I would want a bigger knife to filet a fish that big, but we got her done. Now, let's go make something good to eat. What's up, happy people? We are back from Venice. We've got fresh tuna, and I'm at one of my childhood favorite spots. This is Dubois Park right here in Jupiter. That's Sarah, Ari, and Emma out there, and we're getting ready to have a picnic. It's an outgoing tide, but it's actually nice because it's super shallow, so she doesn't even need floaties. All right, you guys, so I cannot say enough good things about Venice, Louisiana. The people were amazing, the accommodations were amazing, and the fishing was off the chart. Here's some of the elephant tuna that I just showed you cleaning there at the dock. Now, I'm gonna cut a couple nice steaks for me and the girls that will grill. Oh, look how pretty that is. Cut it right off the bone. What are we gonna do with that? Let me show you. Cut it up into quarters just like this. All right, so here we go. Hey. First two fans come rolling up. They don't know it, but they're gonna be taste testers. Do you like ooh, yellowfin ooh, tuna? I love it. All right, so it. they're gonna go swim for a little bit. I'm gonna keep cooking, making some special stuff up. And you guys, what's your name? Zach. Hey, Zach. I'm what, Isabel. Hey, Isabel, nice to meet you. You picked out a really cool spot. This is where I grew yeah, up, man. So with this, we're gonna give some fresh pepper, kosher salt, Good. Little original Everglades. Just like that. Take our tuna, put it right in there. These little cups, they're called the Gourmet Garden Cups. They are not a sponsor, but I really wish they were. It's one of my favorite, like, I, I love these things. So we're gonna add cilantro, and we're gonna add fresh ginger. Everything is just to taste. Then, a little sesame oil. And some soy. Okay, now we're just gonna start stirring this up. Ooh, get back in there. Now, you can just cover it up. No flies or mosquitoes, nothing can get in there now. Now our tuna tartare is ready. Let's spice up our, our tuna steaks. A little fresh pepper. Fresh pepper is great on beef steak and tuna steak. A little kosher salt. A little Everglades original. And I just about forgot a main ingredient here. Holy macaroni. Sesame seeds. Gotta have sesame seeds in your tuna tartare. That's the good thing about doing this myself. No one knows whenever I forget. Oh, so lovely. What you got, honey? Yeah. You got a crab? Whew. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Fresh ahi tuna tartare. Mmm. Honey pie, just for you. So what are you gonna eat, babe? <laughs> Watch this, y'all. Beautiful. Zach and Isabel are back, and we're gonna get an honest taste test. This is so good. Yeah. Wow. 
I love the um, I love the seasoning. The what's it called? The soy sauce. It really brings out the flavor in the meat. I love it. Yeah, I'm just gonna try stabbing mine because I can't <laughs> use chopsticks. So here we go. Honey, try this fish. It is phenomenal. Wow. All right, you guys. So this is a full-on magical afternoon. When we were at the grocery store, I was like, ah, I'll pick up a little extra, you know, corn, this, that, and the other, just in case we run into someone. Sure enough, Zach and Isabel come rolling along. They're like, we love the channel. So now they're eating with us. Everybody, if you're out there and you want to check out Southern Louisiana, Venice, that whole area, go to Fish Intimidator Lodge. The link will be in the description below. I'd wanted to fish down there my whole life. Once I finally got to, it was all I ever dreamed of. We still have one more video to come, but that's all I have for you today. Take care, God bless, and we are gone.